Welcome to the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel. My name is Elise and I'm one of the design team members. Today I have this fun four bar scene card and it is a sneak peek for one of the new releases coming out this month. Here is a look at the card project that we are going to make and let's jump into it. So here you can see I have got some of the images in my Misty. These images are from a new release. The set is going to be called You Lift Me Up, and it's a 3x4 stamp set. Um, I cannot show you the entire set because it doesn't, isn't out yet. Um, it's going to come out, uh, I believe, next week when this is uploaded. Just going ahead and stamping that down with um, Hero Arts Intense Black Ink because I'm going to do some Copic coloring, and it's uh, Copic marker safe. Here's a look at the markers that I use, and let's get into the coloring. So I'm using for the bare colors from the E5 uh, family, so 59, 57, 55, 53, and 51. So I'm just going in and adding my dark coloring. Um, I did want to talk just a little bit about this set. Obviously, it's not released just yet, um, but I think it's going to be a popular one when it is released. It is a 3x4 stamp set, um, which means that it's at a really good price point. And there are coordinating dies, and the dies in this set are also at a really amazing price point. Um, so I definitely think this is going to be one that a lot of people want to pick up when the release goes live. It has a lot of really great um, uplifting sentiments, which goes along because, um, with, with the stamp set with the images and also it's called you lift me up. So that really ties in with the set. So I've got this little bear here and I'm coloring, um, also one of the little balloons. I'm using the darker colors on the main fur and then on the belly and the face and the paw that's exposed. I'm using the lighter tone colors. On his nose, I will use um, a dark W marker. I think it's W7. Just adding touches of R20 here and there to give him some rosy cheeks and just on the inside of his ears. I'm going to be using some BG markers on the balloon, concentrating the color in the bottom left corner and having it lighter at the top. Balloons are something that's pretty hard for me to color, so I know that there's a fancier way that you can do this to make it look transparent. I'm just not that fancy. <laughs> if you watch my videos, you probably already know that. Okay, so moving on to the next step of the card, we need to make the little background for him. So I have got a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock in my little mini media mat. And I'm using some thick post-it note tape to kind of section off for my ink blending. I'm using the Trinity Blender brushes here, which I love. Um, and just going in with some uh, light brown ink. This is Warm Glow by Gina K. Adding a little bit of color to the bottom. This um, piece of cardstock that I'm blending on is much, much larger than my card size will be. So I'm going to be using the four bar card die set. And you can see that here um, to, you know, just cut this down. And because this is going to be a four bar sized card. So I'm going to move on to doing the um, blue for the sky, it's a uh, sea glass. And I'm just using my blender brush that I've designated for blues. I love these blender brushes so much. Um, they've definitely made it so that I can ink blend dye inks because I could never before. And so these have just kind of revolutionized my life. By the way, all of the supplies for everything I'm using is linked down below. So now that I've got that ink blended, I can take my stitched panel. This is the smaller of the two that come in that set. And just going to die cut that out. Also, I die cut out my bear and the balloon. Now I'm using the string um, from the stamp set so that I can stamp down the string. Just eyeballing this and using an acrylic block. It is not dark, dark black because I'm doing it on top of the ink blending, but that's okay because I don't want it to stand out that much. 
Now I've got my sentiment and my misty. Going to go ahead and make sure that that is straight. Bring it a little closer to me. And I'm just going to stamp that down in the same black ink. And the sentiment says, we rise by lifting others. I think that's so nice. So I was going to go ahead and get that down twice. So I get it really nice and black. I'm going to be using a lot of foam tape on today's card. So I'm going to be using some foam tape on that panel to cut it uh, and to pop it up onto my four bar sized card. So this is smaller than an A2 sized card folded. It comes in at three and a half by four and seven eighths. Um, but they, these are really, really fun to send and they do, um, you can either make your own or you can buy four bar sized envelopes for these cards, but I just think they're really fun. And for a scene card, because it's so much smaller, there's just not as much real estate to take up again, using some foam tape to pop up the balloon and the little bear here. And then we just need to do the final touches of this card. So for the final touches, I'm just taking some Nouveau uh, drops. This is in a shade called White Blizzard. It's basically like a clear sparkle. Lots, lots, lots of sparkle. Um, I just felt like this balloon needed some sparkle. So just going to go ahead and fill that all in, finish this off, and then I will tap my card down just to remove any potential air bubbles. Set this aside to dry for 24 hours, and then my card is ready. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from the team, be sure to subscribe. There's some more videos for you to watch up now on the screen, and I'll catch you in the next one.